How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles coming at you with another video today. G.I. Joe Classified Series Barbecue. Got him on a deep discount at Target. He was on sale and he was sitting in my cart and I was like, mm, $18 isn't really cheap enough. And then there was a 25% off any toy. So I used that and I got him for like $13 plus shipping. So that's not bad. The barbecue was looking for him, found him. So now we're gonna take a closer look at the box. So here we have the front of the box. You can see it's G.I. Joe Classified Series, Cobra Island, those Target exclusives, darn you Target. Gabriel Barbecue Kelly, Hasbro, some artwork on there, which is continued on that side. And then we've got that uh, Cobra Island portrait, which we're all very used to if we collect this line. Nothing really on here, just some strategic positions, positions for the Joes to attack on Cobra Island, I guess. Then we've got his rank and file card on the side, which you can check out on the website. And he's number 32 in the G.I. Joe Classified series. Gabriel Barbecue Kelly, once again. And there's the front of the box. You can just see all the accessories in there. All, all of uh, Hasbro's figures are jam-packed with accessories, except for Black Series. And with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. You know what we like to do here. We like to just cut that tape at the bottom and pull a tray on out to get whatever figure out of the cardboard and the plastic one step closer to being in our hands. And here's the newest member of our classified series, G.I. Joe Team Barbecue out of the box, all kitted out, ready to, uh, I guess, shoot flamethrower or some flames at Cobra, even though he's a firefighter uh, with his flamethrower. I think it's a flamethrower, pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, he looks cool. He's got two axes, he's got his flamethrower, but we'll go over all that in the accessories. We're just getting a closer look at him right now. You can see there's detail on the back, painted on. He looks really good. I'm really happy to have him on the team. Going over barbecue's accessories, you can see, first off, we've got this big ax. It's got the silver paint at the end. It's a, got a long handle, all that good stuff. And then we've got this smaller one that goes onto that holster right there. And it's also got the silver paint and it's got a knuckle, knuckle buster and um, a glass punch on the bottom. So you can mess some people up with that. Then we've got his flamethrower, which you can see the backpack came off already got some detail on there the paint uh warning don't shoot it probably um and this was attached to a hose the hose attaches to here i don't want to take it apart again because it was kind of hard to get together but it is three separate pieces and that just ports back into his back there and this comes out of his hand like that sorry and you can just holster it in there for when you don't want him to um, be holding it. So that's all the accessories, but you know, that's a lot of accessories for, for Hasbro. Going over the articulation, we've got the head on a ball peg with a separate, separate neck piece, also on a different ball peg. So we got a dumbbell down there. You can go all over the place. You can see them doing the neck bob. Shoulders come up 90 degrees. <clears throat> Ratchet joint in there, you could hear that. A uh, single elbow, double elbow actually, but it is hindered by the sculpt on both sides. It doesn't really get that full range of motion. So there is that, there's an ab crunch under there. Um, there's also, I believe, a ball peg under this, but there's this torso piece on the thing, which we can look at that. There's some nice paint on there, but it's one piece that sits over the plastic. So you can't really crunch him at all, really. The legs come out really far, over 90 degrees double knees. Can he kick his own butt? Absolutely he can really easily. So that's good. We've got a boot cut. We've got a thigh cut and we've got these rocker joints for the ankles. And then for both hands, we've got side to side pegs, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. That one, yeah, that one's side to side as well. And there's the articulation for our barbecue GI Joe here. And just look, 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 the helmet, nice sculpt, nice detail. Hasbro's doing great with the classified line. I wasn't really a G.I. Joe fan until these came out because I like six inch figures, so. 
First up for scale and comparison, we've got Barbecue here with his Cobra, I would say counterpart, Firefly. Got some TNT ready to blow stuff up and then Barbecue will be like, no, 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 no. I've got an axe and a flamethrower. I'm going to stop you. Don't do that. So they look cool standing next to each other like that. Next up here is Barbecue with Breaker on his ram, ready to mess up some Cobra, looking cool together like they would do a team up. Link to the video for Breaker and Ram will be up at the top. And here we have Barbecue with Snake Eyes, our other masked Joe and the leader of the Joes, Duke. Looking good together. Also ready to kick some Cobra booty. Snake Eyes looks especially cool there. But yeah, he's you can see he's taller than both Snake Eyes and Duke, so that's cool. There's different heights in here. Snake Eyes is shorter than Duke as well. So yeah, there's a good sense of scale for him. And here he is with our go-to Lady Joe, Scarlet, and Gung Ho, just so you can see it. All the scales of the classified series in here. That's basically all the builds for the bodies that they have. Uh, yeah, so barbecue looks great with this team, obviously. Go Joes. Yo Joe. So there you go, y'all. With all that being said, I am glad to have barbecue in my collection with the classified series. Good to snag him at a good price. And so I will say he was totally worth it because he was totally worth it to me. Go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe, of course, please. We need subscribers. And comment down below what you like about Classified Series, what you want to see, all that good stuff, uh, what figures you want to see next. Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.